All right. It's live. Hey, everybody. So as promised, I am going to do my injections live tonight. Um, it's a pretty big deal because I don't really put my business out there, as you guys know. But first, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving holidays, whatever is politically correct for you. Um, I am going to be taking three different injections today. Two of them are going to be Menopure. One of them is called Gano. Um, I'm just going to show you how I learned how to do the process. Um, the first night I had a really huge breakdown. Um, Ivan's cousin had to help me do the injections. The second day my supervisor came, she's a close friend of mine and she helped me. So I could already tell that second day that I was a little bit more comfortable. Yesterday I did it alone. I was still slightly nervous, but I think that today I could pretty much do it by myself. So I'm just doing this video just to show people the process that are um, curious about it, as well as to help someone else that may be thinking about it or um, they just want to know like how to do it before they begin the process because they basically told me to just look on YouTube. I mean, the doctors are pretty nice, but being that the doctor is in New York, there's only so much that they, that they could do over the phone. So first, I'm going to take my handy dandy vitamins. I take a prenatal every day that's um, prescribed to me. I also have to take vitamin D that's recommended by my hematologist. Um, and I also have to take um, a methyl B12 complex with methylfolate because um, some type of something that I have that the hematologist told me about, they stated that it's some type of mutation that's carried from either my father or my mother and it doesn't break down vitamins and different nutrients the way that it should. So I have to make sure that I have a um, folated um, B12 and other vitamins. So the folic acid really isn't that good for me. In addition to that, these prescribed meds, this is C naltrexone, and then I have prednisone. So I'm just gonna pop them real quick. Some of them have to be taken before bedtime. That's why I'm taking them so late. All right, so now that that's done, let's get into the injection. So um, the Menopure comes in 75 IU, and I was told that I need to take 150 every night. So that means I'm going to have to take two of these, and I'm not mixing them up in one syringe because it won't fit, so I have to do this twice. So to begin... You have to pop the top off of each one of them. And yes, this is a lot. I mean, it's more simple to me now, now that I have a system, but it was a lot and I was overwhelmed when I first looked at it. So, um, my Menopure, everyone's doesn't come like this, but mine's came with the Q caps. So it makes it easier to draw up the solution. So this is what it looks like right here. So before you begin, you do want to get an alcohol pad, something I'm still getting used to, and you want to sterilize everything. So this is the Minipure right here. It's a white powdery substance, and this is the sodium chloride. This is used to mix the Minipure. So what I'm going to do is, this is the needle. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of both. And I am going to twist the Q-cap onto the syringe. So once you get that on there, it's recommended to go up to like one milliliter, then you stick that down into the sodium chloride. Go ahead and press all of that air out of there. And then you draw it back down to the one milliliter. So it's only going to let you go that far. I learned, because I didn't know, I'm sorry if I'm not technical, but I learned that that's why you let the air into it first at that spot so that when you draw it back in, it'll stop right there. So that is about one milliliter. So you can just take this off 
there's still some left over in this bottle, so it may work for the next one. So I'm just going to stick that into the Minipure. And then you just slowly ease that in there. And as you can see, it turns it into a liquid substance. To make sure that it's mixed, you just want to turn it. They said that you shouldn't shake it. So you just want to rotate it a little bit, make sure that it's good and mixed. All right. So that's the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this one to the side. And see, now it's a whole lot easier because I got like a system. I'm getting the needles ready so that they can be ready to go. All right, so I'm going to twist this one onto the second syringe, same Q cap. And then I'm going to go into that first bottle of sodium chloride. I'm drawing it back down to one and hopefully this is enough so that I won't have to go into the other bottle. So I'm going to push the air out, turn it upside down, draw it down to one. And sometimes I go a little bit past to make sure I'm getting enough because there's normally a little bit of air at the top. All right, so that's about what I needed. That's gonna save us some money because we're using, we're not using as many of these. All right, so I'm gonna take that off. Second bottle of Minipure. I spilled a little bit, but that's cool. I'm actually going to go back to the other syringe because I was supposed to get all of the Minipure out of this bottle, and I didn't. All right. So, turn it upside down, and we're just drawing it all out slowly. All right. So this one is completely ready to go. I'm gonna put the needle on there, make sure it's secure because I don't want it getting stuck in my skin. And then I am going to go back to this one and just get the rest of this meds out. If I can get it off here, okay. All right, so we are just going to go back in here. All right, so I'm gonna take the Q-cap off. I don't need this anymore. Uh, my third injection actually comes with this own needles, the different med. Um, so we're about to get ready to do the shots. Let me make sure that I put this sodium chloride back in the box. I didn't use it. All right, so I'm a little OCD, so I need everything kind of out of my way so I can focus. All right, so this is all trash. Probably should have got a bag. All right, so I have on a sports bra, so you'll have to excuse me, but I'm wearing this outfit because it's a little bit easier for me to just pull off my uh, top and move forward. All right. So excuse my scars. These are from previous pregnancies. Ugh. All right. So before you begin, you want to take off the top. Not the needle, but just the top. 
Let me screw that title a little bit better. All right. So this is a leap needle. It's not too big. Um, you want to tap it before you begin. Make sure it's the same amount. Just to make sure that any uh, oops, air bubbles rise to the top. I want to be sure sure so once you get any air bubbles out you want to go push it all the way to the top until that you know this air bubble at the top is out and typically I did something a little strange so that's why it leaked out earlier but typically once that air is gone at the top of it there's no bubbles in the inside of it once you push it like right to the top and it like squirts out just a little bit then you know it's ready to go that's making sure that you have the air out so here goes you know what I almost forgot something sterile 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 you want to make sure that you clean the area so I don't know if I have any marks from the previous night. Um, you want to alternate size each night. That's what they recommend. But I've been doing like, because I'm taking two, one on each side of my belly each night instead of just doing like all on this side and then all on that side. So I don't feel any pain right now. So I'm just going to do this area, which is the area that I've done before. So I'm going to do one here. And then one right here. All right. All right, so here goes nothing. I do have to brace myself every time. And then when, when you get the needle all the way in there, then you just wanna inject it slowly. This one, it stings a little bit. It doesn't like hurt, but you could feel the medicine. So then you pull it out. Typically, I will get another. Um, I don't have to use this many pads, but typically I get another one because typically I'll bleed a little bit, but I didn't. All right, so let me flip this over, go back to this area just to make sure it's clean. And I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to tap it. I don't really see any bubbles for real in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, go to the top, see how it's, the space is going away a little bit. And there it is, so it bubbled at the top. So there's no more space in between, there's no air bubbles floating. So this area, oh, I do see some of the bruising. So I'm gonna go, oops, go up a little bit this time. All right. All right. So that's sore. So that's probably where I shot at previously. Because I could feel the needle going all the way in. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this in there. Because I'm already in there. And I don't want to poke myself again. Yep, that's a sore spot. All 
All right, so that is done. That's how I do my Menopure injections. You can see I'm bleeding a little bit, probably because that was a um, that was the same area from yesterday. Um, so let's move forward with the gonal. This is the last one. One thing I like to show you, if you guys get this one, is um, the box is 450 IU's. My um, recommended dose is 300. The good thing about this is it comes with overfill, so it actually has 600 in the box. So guess what? If one of these boxes has 600 in it and my dose is 300 every night, I get two for one. So that's saving me money too. Um, when I first got this, it came with a syringe with, um, I think the sodium chloride or whatever you mix it with already. And then it, um, the gonal came in here. So this is just the remainder. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is, this is the remainder, um, of that 600. So this should be 300 if you do half the first night. So because it's already mixed, I just take one of the syringes that come with it. I don't have to use like a Q cap or anything like that with this. This is a smaller needle, but it's a little bit more dull, unfortunately. Um, I was gonna say something else, I forgot what it was. Oh, this is one that has to be refrigerated. So you just stick the needle in there like normal and just begin to draw it all out, every bit of it. And hopefully that gets me at 300. If it's a little bit less or more, that's fine because either way, the remainder was or will be in my body, so. All right, so I think that's about it. So I'm gonna pull that out. This needle was a little bit. All right. So clearly yesterday, <laughs> because that was probably my first day doing it by myself, I probably took less than what I needed, maybe, because this looks like a whole lot more. So I'm just going to tap it. I see all kind of bubbles in here. So when I push it up, we'll see if it's the right amount. Let's um, spread the top. So this is about right. It's about at 300, so we're good to go. So I'm gonna lay this there for a quick second, wipe my belly off one more time, more time. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here this time. Hopefully this isn't an area that I did yesterday. So this one is gonna require a little bit more poking, even though you can't tell how hard I'm pushing it. Um, we had a hard time with it the first time. So um, let's go. It's sore there too. Clearly I've been poking myself all week, so <laughs> all the areas are hurting. There's not too many more places I can go. All right, so you just go ahead and push it in there slowly. All right, y'all. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of um, insight into the process and hopefully it helps someone that's thinking about it. Um, 
or just inspired someone that, you know, I don't know what phase you are in your life and in your search of um, motherhood. So, mm -hmm. peace. Peace.